Hey guys, this is Kate and I'm going to be doing a project life spread from start to finish. So I'm starting off with a diagram of the page projector that I'm going to use and I'm just going to use this as a guideline to lay out all of my different pieces. So I have different pattern papers and pictures that I have printed on my selfie Canon printer. Um, I print them with a border and some I print 3x4 and some 4x6. But even if you print them 4x6 you still have to back them with something. So that's why I have these backing papers. And they're some old, some new. There's all different kinds of papers. And I'm trying to get this little paper clip on there and I end up having to glue it down because I can't figure out how to get it right. Um, and I like to embellish my Project Life spreads. Um, these are really picture heavy because it's from our wedding. So there's a lot of pictures. Normally they aren't this picture heavy. But that's why this one goes a lot faster because there's so many different pictures. And I'm trying to find a piece of paper here to back those two in the center with. I'm just going to put them on one 4x6 piece of paper and then just cut it in half. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of a lot of photographs on these. Usually in any given spread, I don't I have more blank space than I do pictures, but this was a unique um, circumstance. And it was kind of harder, I feel like, because the blank spaces that you did have, you wanted to have like a lot of impact, you know? And I want to spell out here comes the bride as kind of like a title card on this one and I have these gold thickers that I really like but they just like barely fit width wise and you'll see in the end that I end up well not being just in a couple minutes I end up changing them because they look too cramped these are those new Maggie Holmes um, flea market thickers that look like scrabble tiles but they're gold they're really cool um, and I'm just putting them down on some wax paper because I'm using a bunch of different kinds of thickers and it's a big title. So I want to see like proportionally and like with the colors how they go together. So I just use that as kind of like a guide. And I end up using these, um, what are those called? Custard thickers for the the. But I thought I might use these DIY little fabric ones. So I also put the word the to the side so I can compare and see which one I like better. <clears throat> I end up going with that kind of like minty green because that's like one of the wedding colors. And normally I don't have like all black and white photos on one spread. I usually have like a mix of color and black and white. This one just so happened to work out that they were all black and white. So I'm just like literally throwing these letters on here like I did it super fast. Um, this is sped up but still like in real time I did it super fast. And this is like going to be a two page spread like a front and a back. And all together I think it took me like 45 minutes which is a pretty long time but I had a couple of interruptions and I was really indecisive tonight for some reason as you can see by this plethora of thickers that I pulled out for one word normally I'm not this fussy I think because it's like the wedding you know and like when it's a big event you want it to be more special I think than like just a normal week at least I do I, I feel like I put more um, thought into what I did and definitely decorated more than I normally do even though I do like to decorate so I'm using this like metallic um, I'll insert somewhere on here what that is called because I can't remember offhand and it's not sitting in front of me and I just paint literally paint a frame kind of like those crepe paper um, frames that are out now because I love like the idea of that gold and that makes like it looks like gold foil basically so I'm splattering on this little card and that's some of that color wash paper and you can see up in the right hand corner there that I splattered paint everywhere including on the photograph below it um, which at first I was kind of like oh no but it, I ended up making it work so I kind of want a watercolory gold effect on this so I'm just adding some water and like kind of swooshing it around um, it turned out okay I, I you'll see in the end that that card actually ends up on the second page because I feel like it's too much. So I'm just taking this top card and typing on it, which I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. So I did my journaling and um, with my typewriter, and then I just used one of those Glitz Arrow stamps and rolled it um, underneath. So I'm, I go back, I, I work on cards, and then I will keep putting them back onto this diagram. So now this is the back side. And I'm just showing you the different um, pieces that I have for that. And that one in the center, I wanted another vertical 4x6 because I really wanted this picture 
but there wasn't another space. So I just um, put it into a three by four and cut it in half. You'll see in a second how it turns out. I think it looks cool. I like doing that sometimes. This bottom right hand one, I could not, I could not make that sticker work and I really wanted to use it. It says with this ring, it's really cute. It's like a chalkboardy sticker. And I just, I don't know. I didn't like the way it looked that way. I didn't like the way it looked that way. So I ended up going with something completely different. I ended up using the flea market um, chipboard, this big camera. And I decided that I liked that with the little piece of gold vellum, which I stick down and then I decide I want it somewhere else. So you'll see. And when I have a sticker like this and I'm not sure where I want to put it, I'll put it on some wax paper and then um, that way I can move it around the, the spread. So I want to use this gold fold foil number two. I can't remember what that came from. Oh, I think it's from an old Dear Lizzie um, sticker book. Anyhow, so I decided to go this way and then I need to cut down that vellum because it's a little bit too thick. And then I just use some pop dots underneath the gold so you can't see the adhesive at all. And I, I like the way that looks. This is this one, this spread is going to change a little bit throughout the course. I end up putting those thickers that say I do and then I take them off and I end up not even using that little love 3x4 three, three card. But any of those that I cut out of pattern paper, I just um, put them into my little Project Life box and end up using them later. So this is a stamp set from a Kelly Perky um, Thanksgiving set. And this is a Studio Calico. And it says all you need, or you are all I need, I think. I can't remember. But I couldn't get it lined up right. So I decided to use this little stamp tool thingy where you can line things up perfectly. I can't stamp a jig that's what it's called it's really cool really cool especially for getting things straight or if you want to center something because it's kind of hard to do even with a clear block and then this is a little um this is an awesome studio calico stamp set i really like it and it gives it that kind of i don't know it's real popular right now this kind of look with a sentiment and then a little, little like border around it or something you see those a lot on like instagram apps and stuff all right but i like it i think it looks cool so I end up putting that on the top, and then I have a space at the bottom, which I will eventually fill. And this is, it, it, I had planned on putting another one of those half circles on the top. That's why I left room, and then I didn't, so I just end up putting a, like more heavy lines on the top to kind of balance it. It's a little bit off, but that's okay. So now I'm just going to chop this whole thing in half, and it ends up looking okay when it's in the um, page protector. I'm going to do like a very, 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 just the edge of this, kind of like if you get letterpress that has, um, like if they're really, really thick letterpress, you can get the edges to have a color, like a gold foil or whatever color you want, and I kind of wanted that look, so that's why I did that, and then I don't know why I splattered that stuff. I got a little crazy with the gold. Now I'm just kind of lining things up again to see overall how they're looking, and I'm taking this little tin of wood veneer and stuff that I've put stickles on or white enamel accents and I just keep them on wax paper in this little box and that's like my go-to little embellishments especially for project life because they're already done and I feel like with white and gold I pretty much and then just the plain wood that's pretty much all I need as far as the wood veneers go so I'll just like sit down in front of the TV and do a whole bunch of these at once and then I'll always have them on hand so I'm just taking all the pictures here they're not in any particular order and just adding you know little things here and there where I think that they need them I, I don't think that these pic pictures need too much embellishment because most of them were taken by our photographer and so there's their composition is perfect and there's not a lot of like dead space that you need to fill with like a journal you know like a tag or a label or something like when I take pictures there's always room for a label or something because the composition isn't as good as these but um, now I'm just showing you like how I, this, I'm kind of showing my process. This might be totally not interesting to some of y'all, um, and I apologize if it isn't, but I just thought I'd go ahead and show you exactly how I do it. Like just forget the cameras on and just do it. So that way you can kind of see um, how, how my brain works, I guess. I really love the way that card turned out. I think it's so much fun. Now this one, 
like I just wasn't sure. I was going to put this amazing stamp over it, but then I was like, that's too splattery. So I end up putting it up here at the top, and I really like it up there. Now I have, well, I switch them. I put the stamped one on here, which I like, and then I put the gold one on the top here, which I also like, but then I have a blank space at the bottom. I also realize that that picture is in the wrong place. So I switch it <laughs> and add that. That's not dry yet, so that's why I haven't put it in. And I was thinking I could use that, um, not the actual globe card, but all I did was just gold embossed a stamp on a plain Becky Higgins card, so I was thinking I could do that. Um, I ended up putting these little potty people that are gold on top of that gold. And then I was going to write on this card, but I couldn't, I was kind of having, like, I was kind of brain dead. So I was like, I'll just write on that later. So now I'm going to show you in better, more close-up detail. This is the, this is actually the back side of it, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, chronologically, this would be the second page, but, you know. Like I said, those two aren't dry yet, so I'm moving them out of the way, just so they don't get messed up. And then this would be the front side. So that is what it looks like, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was interesting, um, and I hope you enjoyed it. So here's just a few more details.